Hey all, and welcome to another video. Today we're unboxing the Reef Octopus Classic 300 pound the back protein skewer. So let's get into the unboxing. So as we open the box, the first thing you come to is some instructions. And if I'm honest with you, I didn't think much of the instructions, they were uh, a bit difficult to read, it's just more of a picture instructions, and there's some writing, but we'll have a look at these in a minute. So we've also got the two collection cups, which are just here, and we've also got the silencers, we've got two of them. And we've got the support hinges for the back of the protein skimmer and the two screws as well for the to fasten it to the back of the tank. And we've got all these to one side. And we'll continue having the cuts in the box. So underneath the styrofoam, you will see the actual skimmer unit. So as you can see, we've also got two air tubes and then we've got two pumps as well with the UK plugs on them obviously this is the dual pump uh, reef octopus protein skewer we'll just get the second one out of the way and then we'll actually get the skimmer unit out the box. You see it's coming it comes in like a plastic bag that just slides off once you get past the inlet pipes on the back. And then also in the top of the skimmer we have the return chamber. This is adjustable to the height of your water and this just slides into the outlet pipe. We also have some um, like filter media um, they're just to go over the outlet pipe just to stop excess bubbles returning back to your system. Now we'll look at the instructions I'll just let let you scour over this as I go down and show you one. You can see the instructions are not the best, um, but it's pretty obvious where parts go when you can just put it together. So we'll have a quick look around one of the pumps. These obviously take the water from your system and this hang on the back protein skimmer is slightly different to the other reef octopus skimmers because these pumps actually go in the water whereas the other ones tend to go on the outside of the tank and suck the water in. So there's a quick look at the actual skimmer unit. It's quite bigger than what I expected but um, hopefully it'll certainly do the job. And this is the uh, the earrings just to stop the excess bubbles. The two skimmer cups. And then there's the other thing. So now we'll get into actually attaching the pumps. As you can see, there's a O ring inside the pump. This is essential that it goes back in there and it's in there before we tighten these up because if not, you're going to have water going all over your floor and potentially damaging your floor and obviously annoying. Your, uh, your partner, which you don't want to do. It's quite simple to fit on, it just attaches on and you just now for the air hose. This just attaches to the pump and then it there's a little like hole at the top which you can just feed it through just to keep it out of the way. You can trim these down at the end if you prefer, obviously they're a bit long and they dangle over a bit. So you do again you do the same with the other side and then obviously for the return bit 
you can just put as many of the rings, the filter rings, as you want, depending on the height of your tank. And then this just attaches to the outlet pipe. Yeah, and like I said, it's adjustable. As for the cups, there's a, a band on it, so you can adjust the height of it. And there's a screw as well that you can tighten up. These are adjustable to how high you want them. And then also you've got to attach the support bracket to the back. Now here's the skimmer on the front of the tank. Um, just so you can see, obviously, what it looks like. And then we'll move it out and put them back. This was a bigger job than what I expected. So as you can see now, the skimmer is running on the back. Um, and I seem to have quite a lot of bubbles at the minute, so I just need to adjust the height of the return pump. But hopefully, it'll uh, clean my tank up a little bit. And then there's the top again. It's, it's, as soon as you plug it in, if you just put your hand over the top of the air pumps, and it'll rise the water level, but don't be scared, it's not going to go everywhere. And then you just, as soon as there's no bubbles in the chamber, you can just release it and it's done. So here's the collection cup after about one day. Um, obviously it's going to take about three to four weeks for the skimmer to fully break in. But I advise that you have the cup set at the highest level possible.